Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, we got a special video. It's another stew guide. So yeah, my original one wasn't really that great, and you guys have been asking for a new one, so I mean, here it is. So I'm also pushing my mini with stew only to master, so watch out for that. But yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's hop in. All right, so we're starting off with a little quick overview of every brawler in the matchup. So obviously, we'll start with the top. You see all those brawlers, DB, Bill, Buzz, Colt, Daryl, Carl, Gail, Colette, Griff, Edgar, Lou, Shelly. All of them are basically the easiest matchups for Stu. I don't think you should ever really lose a 1v1 to any of them. A couple of them are hard to kill sometimes, like Carl with the super and the shield. But yeah, most of the time you should be doing well. It's pretty easy. And then obviously you got good, which is usually good for Stu, but sometimes they're hard because, you know, you get outranged by like a Brock or they could just have a trillion HP like a Frank or a Primo. Then we got even matchups. Matches I think like could go either way depending on the player. Kind of depends on the map too, like Tick or Barley on kind of walled maps. Obviously, they're going to probably favor the Barley, but other times it might just be easy for the Stew with the wall break. Yeah, we got the bad matches now. I probably would move Grom up to the even after it just got nerfed, but definitely was bad before. But now it's pretty even, I think. Depends on the map like the other throwers. And then you got Brawlers that I think are really hard to kill for a Stew. And a lot of them just either outrange you or they have spawners or they're just impossible to kill. I would probably put Buster as well up to even. It just got nerfed as well. And then you got the runaway tier. These brawlers. Sometimes you can beat them if you catch them off guard. But most of the time you just want to run away. So yeah, feel free to screenshot this if you want to save it. And we'll move on. All right, so maps and modes. I mean, gem, every single gem map, definitely good for Stu. Showdown, every single showdown map is good for Stu. Heist, I would not recommend Stu in any heist map. Maybe hot potato, but... Most of the time, don't. Bounty, ah, no, just stay away from it. Maybe Canal is okay. Brawl, every single Brawl map, pretty good. Hot Zone, every single Hot Zone map, pretty good. Knockout, stay away from Knockout. That, do not play Knockout. So yeah, play them in like Gem, Brawl Hot Zone. Other three, not really too good. Stay away from them. And uh, yeah. And yeah, quickly before I forget, we'll uh, do the loadout. Best loadout for me personally is probably this loadout either with speed or with shield. I think speed's probably a little better for the most part on most maps. If there's not much grass and you feel like you might need a little bit more HP, you can play the shield. If you just like speed, you can play speed. And then sometimes if you're playing gem mid like on double swoosh, I like to play vision, vision speed. Health, you never really need health. You got your own gas will heal to heal you for the most part. I say never run uh, long dash unless you are on a long range map like shooting star or something. I don't know why you would ever play Stu on shooting star. A couple circumstances where you might play long dash with like wall break. I don't really recommend ever playing long dash speed zone. That doesn't really make sense. But yeah, this is probably my best build, I'd say, for the most part. And then yeah, wall break's good sometimes. Depends on the map, but mostly you'll use this loadout. So yeah, let's finally hop in. All right, so yeah, I'm hopping into power league games. I'm not going to show the draft because, hey, why show the draft? I mean, we... uh. We're picking Stu. If we're not, then we're dodging. Or we're not We're not showing it. But yeah, it is what it is. So uh, we'll start off by uh, saying I am facing literally three of the hardest counters. So if I play bad, it's not my fault. I, uh, I explain to you guys, do not do not do what I did. Picking Stu into Penny, Dog, and Surge. It's just, it's a nightmare. They got, they got turrets galore. They got a Surge. It's just, see, look at this. You just got to shoot all those bags. And they're they're actually pinching me really really hard too. This is a uh, this is an issue. But I mean it's pretty even. I don't know why we have a BB that is also not quite the pick because he can't really use his free lane to do much. But yeah, as soon as I can kind of like if you're playing against counters like this, you kind of just gotta wait for them to waste all of their gadgets. So the dog is out of gadgets now, which is uh quite nice. Dog is pretty easy when he doesn't have gadgets. He still has a little bag there. But I think I can get him here. Nice. Look at the trade. I do waste my hit. It's not very good. But if maybe, maybe the B can make a play. Oh, he does. So it's a nice trade. I'll get the speed. Maybe I can run them down. Okay, they're both quite low, actually. Trying to hit the stew. Oh, I mean the surge. I got him. Nice. Dog is behind me. Oh, no, I didn't get him. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, they have what? Nine, eight. They have eight. Okay. Probably going to get a ninth now as well. There's the ninth. Okay, I can just try and... The dog is, what, 800 HP. We can try and press him. They're going to get the 10th. Oh, that is a lucky spawn. Dog is very low, though. All right, maybe I can make a combo here. Dashing around. They're all out of gadgets, so actually, what well, the Surge does, but the Surge... The Surge doesn't block me. Just, oh, my, the speed run? Oh, no way. I mean, sometimes if you got to wait until literally 10 seconds left before you lose for all the gadgets to run out, hey, it doesn't matter as long as you... A win's a win. And, uh, yeah, let's hop in the next game. Well, a win's a win. That wasn't really too fun of a game, but 
Hey man, we'll take it. I, I need some elo on this account. Like I don't even have masters yet on my main. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe a little, a little help from your lanes when you uh, gotta shoot down the gadgets is always nice. But yeah, my Max Hugh shall not be named. I'm gonna get the kill on the dog. I will. I won't be asking him for pinches personally. The hard, the surge is actually hard stuck as well. I will just. Uh, you can easily abuse abuse the surge if he's hard stuck. When you're playing Stu, you just gotta like, you gotta understand your matchups. You gotta understand the counters. Like I'm, I'm staying away from the surge. That is surge. No matter what, he's always gonna be able to kill you. It's just, it's very hard for you to kill him. It's just a three shot and you don't really three shot him because he has a gadget. But yeah, you just gotta, gotta waste gadgets. You gotta play it right. If you're losing your lane, it's fine. You just gotta somehow try and make a play. We got nine gems now. I'm gonna try and get a kill on this dog here. I'm gliding around. Oh, I clipped the wall. No, I shot it. Oh, run. I actually just put a turret to block a penny shot. That is uh, not quite smart. Don't do not do what I did. Hey, that's gonna be a first game, first dog. And we're gonna be actually a solid team. Star players too. And now let's hop in the next game. Nice, he goes in the corner. I. I love Brawl Stars. Almost won that too. Maybe if he actually played. I mean, oh well. That guy's getting reported. I don't know who this guy is. Just report him, man. I don't know why he's throwing on purpose. I don't know who this guy is, but just play your Power League games. I don't know why you're queuing up and then just going AFK and shooting people. That's just, just a waste of time, but uh, let's hop in the next game, I guess. All right, so now we're on Pinhole. I'm on my mini as well, by the way. I uh, couldn't get any more games on my main, but we got actually a very good comp. We do have a level nine Poco, which is an issue. But for the most part, I like our comp. I got the speed zone. We got the Ash, the Poco combo. The Ash is putting in so much work. Oh, this Ash is crazy. And the heal. It's full HP. We'll pass it to him. And yeah, sometimes you got to have a good comp around the stew. You got the Poco. You got the Ash. Poco stew is a very good combo. And then just the speed zone around. And I got actually a bunch of good matchups this game. I like this game. Even though Otis is pretty annoying sometimes and the Lou Supers. But overall, it should be putting in a lot of work. Yeah, I'm gonna try and go on this Carl here. Oh, there's a Lou right there too. Oh, I got frozen. No, he's so low. All right, whatever. Let's see. Can they save this? Um, he's gonna go for the pass. He's gonna pass it to the call. Can we get him? Oh, I got the save. Oh, what? Please get the ball. No, I pass it back. Okay. That was crazy. I, I mean, we're just going. We gotta move. Oh, Ash is going in. I'll get the ball. I missed the ball. I don't know why, but Ash is sending it. Go, Ash. Go. Oh, Ash gets another kill. Oh, uh, they're shooting at each other. What I? It's been one goal. What is that? What are these guys doing? I'm gonna hit the little trick shot. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I actually hit it though. <laughs> I don't know why people in Power League play like this. Just, just play it out, man. Like you don't, you don't queue up and play one game and just get scored on one time and then like you didn't even pick a good brawler. You picked Carlin or Comp. This is just some people. I don't know. If you, if you're like this, please just for the for the sake of everyone trying to play Power League and having a good time, just just stop queuing up. Oh, it's pretty low. Um, he's gonna go down actually. Nice. Carl's gonna go in. Poco stops moving. I mean, I guess, I guess he's just like good peak brawler, so you can kind of just try and go for the oh, almost got the score, but you can try and go for like the peek around wall shots. And I think like I'm I don't know exactly which side. I think it's the right shot. That's a little bit or no, I, actually it's the left shot. I take it back. But like one shot shoots a little bit faster than the other. I'm gonna pass it. I don't know why I passed it, but he's gonna get the ball. He's gonna pass it. All right, nice. Yeah, it's better. It's easier to peek on one side than the other. I'm pretty sure if you peek on the left side, it's a little bit easier. But yeah, they're. I guess they've given up. Poor. Uh, I'll shoot it in. Poor team. I don't know. And uh, hopefully we get a real game the next game. Let's hop in. All right. So we got the dueling Beatles. We got Gene T and we got Colt Hart King against Bo Buster Penny. So the comp. A lot of these balls are pretty good for Stu actually. Penny's not not too good, but Bo and Buster definitely. We just got an overall good comp. We got the speed zone. When you're playing Stu and Hot Zone, obviously you want to play speed zone. There's no way around it. You just it's better to get your teammates to speed, get in the get in that zone control. Like look at us now, we're running them all the way down. Even though the Poco died, we're still holding it down pretty well. And the Buster Shield. Oh, the Buster Shield lies so little. I actually died. I'm gonna put another Stu turret when it goes down. I kind of keep forgetting that it also uh got nerfed, but it doesn't really affect Stu too much. We'll be uh, getting our hit back. You always want to just you want to keep cycling your hits. You know, you never want to be out without a hit, especially if you're on like a long range map and you just know you can't get another hit. You always got to just got to do whatever you can to keep the hit. I'm holding good control here. This penny mortar is very annoying, but <laughs> there's actually nothing we can do about it now. Just got to do whatever we can. I'm trying to stay alive here. Oh my, oh my, this penny mortar is so annoying. Poco does get a kill though. Oh, Poco gets two kills. Poco going crazy. Can he get the triple? No, he auto aims the heal. I'll get the triple. 
I'll be running away. Oh, I almost juked that buster. Can I go around him? Please, let me live. Oh, I got him. Nice. I'm trying to head out. But I'm also trying to not die. Oh, I almost got out of there. Probably should have gone back, but I was a little scared. Okay, we need 10%. We still got like 10 more seconds of this stew turret. This buster shield is going to last like, what, like two seconds now? Yeah, that is so short. Thanks, Supercell, for nerfing that brawler. It got nerfed too much, though. It kind of sucks now. But oh, wow. I mean, a dub's a dub. He's gonna stand on the bone mine stun, but we're gonna get the double top in the next game. You just gotta keep putting your stew turrets on the zone. I should have put a little bit more aggro last time. You, you kind of want to put it as far as you can up the map, so obviously you can get the speed boost. But this Penny, he's gonna kind of waste his barrel. I used the Poco to pinch the barrel out, take it out, and as soon as he got no barrel, he's just nothing you can do. And then, yeah, the combo Poco stew, you just gotta play aggro. You get as many heals as possible. I'm trying to run into this Penny. Oh, I almost get him. We don't. It's unfortunate. We're holding it down pretty well right here. Poco's gonna heal himself. I. Oh wow. He actually that was maybe was pretty smart. I'm gonna shoot around this Buster Shield. Dodge the ball mine. That was close. Um, I may, I think I might have lived it anyway. But oh, nice kill on the bow. Buster's gonna gadget. Oh, that was actually holy. This Buster is the best player in the game. I'm trying to just regain control. I don't really want to put a stew turret this early. Maybe try and get a kill or something. I'm forcing it a little too much though. Try and like push up a little bit here on this. Buster, please. If, oh, nice, good break. Okay, we'll, we'll get him around here. Nice. Glide around him. All right. So, yeah, once you get a kill, you just got to hold it down. We're not holding it down because he's dead. But, I mean, maybe I can uh, clutch for the team a little here. Juke the bow. Oh, my. They're actually getting hit by every bow mine. Oh, no. Please. Come on, Griff. Griff, come on. I'm going to put a stew turret in the back now. I should have put it a little bit earlier. I don't know why I didn't. I think I said I was going to do it, too. Oh, Griff with the spray? Oh, they're solo. Come on. He's got to juke some shots here. Poco with the heal. Nice. We're comboing the Poco suit. We're going. All right, I'm going to play aggressive. You know, you want to... If your teammates are smart enough to stay in the zone, which they're not right now, but if you, you want to play aggro, you want your teammates to hold the zone, obviously, because, uh, you know, you're stew. You want to play aggressive. Never want to hold it down. And I think we're going to actually get the dub here. We're going to walk away with another win. And uh, let's hop in the next game. So I actually got Zara on my team. Uh, he's the Piper, and then... Christine, who is a CR7's E girlfriend, and I am dead. I should not have been talking. All right, time to focus up a little bit. I did waste a turret, too. That was unfortunate. I did get my hit, though. Okay, the Leon's invis. Maybe he's, oh my, oh, pfft, he's so fast. Too, too many deaths. Gotta play to my abilities, actually. I don't know what I'm doing. I think this Leon might be, yeah, he's, uh, he's close to being invis, I think. Oh, I think he's invis. Yeah, he's definitely invis. I'm gonna check, like, right to the left of me in a little bit. Okay, he's not Invis, actually. Oh, there he is. Okay, now he has it. Oh, he went it. I see it right there. Oh, nice. Good predict. Dashing around. Okay. He's AFK. Bailed out. Oh, oh, that curve if that hit. Once you got full control, you can kind of just play it out. Force him to push into you so you can keep getting your hits and keep cycling. Keep putting pressure. I'm going to take out that uh, cactus. But I also have to watch this Leon, so I'm going to try and... Uh, uh, bars over cactuses. I think I... Oh, I peek around the Leon. Juke the curveball. Nice. Curveball Juke's coming in clutch. Nice kill by Czar there. Well, that spike's just gonna be an easy kill. Let's see if I can get out of here. I think I can. I think I can. Peek a little hit. As you saw there, I think I, I showed it where you can like peek around the wall. Just because that, it's the, it's the right shot. Yeah, it is the right shot. It uh, comes around a little bit earlier. So you can kind of like shoot a little bit to the right and then move back. And then like one shot will hit, give you a hit, and then you'll just run away. But yeah, nice win. Let's on the next game. This Leon matchup, I shouldn't have done what I did. I'm gonna, you gotta play it slow. I should also probably be on Vision Gear. It would be smart, so definitely go Vision Gear if you're facing a Leon like this. But yeah, you kind of wanna, Leon, you wanna stay like perfectly mid range, because obviously Leon does less damage. You don't wanna be up close. But uh, yeah, I don't really have too low ping right now. You, you kind of also gotta base your stoop play on your ping. If you got like super low ping, you can just do whatever you want, kind of, and just pray they don't hit you. But if you got higher ping, you gotta play more calculated. You can't just like start spamming auto aim and just dashing everywhere. Okay, I just lied. I did a, that, but I mean, oh, I got the double too. Sometimes you just got to leave your lane. Even those are to just die. You got to leave your lane, get the double kill, get the gems, run away. Yeah, we're actually looking pretty good. Leon is uh, quite low. Oh, Bell is 6 HP. I'm also marked though. Okay, I got to do some curveball. Nice curve by Zar. There's what, two gems in our spawn. I'm going to... Make sure I don't die here. Okay, we have nine. Zar's kind of chill, and I don't think we can really get that gem. He tries, but he got to jump away. Okay, I got to stop getting hit by curveball. Zar's going to go down. 
I really don't like this mark. Yeah, I think after Zara respawns here, I'm gonna try and like waste some ammo and then play aggressive whenever I see an opportunity. Maybe if he like pinches, yeah, we gotta pinch this spike here. Good pinch, nice. Play aggressive. Oh, the Leon's there, gotta juke around. Staying alive here, nice. Oh, I psyched the bell too. Run, 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 run. Get the gem. I'm still marked. I don't know how I did that, but hey, I mean, marked, still win. I and mean, we're looking good. We got another dub. Did have a team diff, but hey, it is what it is. So this is gonna be the last game of the video. We're facing uh, Bo, Mortis, and Max. I'm just gonna be playing Stu on open zone, so a new map every time. But yeah, if, you wanna, if you're playing Stu on open zone, you always wanna play either left lane or mid. It kind of depends. I think I'd probably play mid in this scenario if it actually really mattered. I'm kind of just running it down. They do have a Mortis. Oh, he's actually going to get the kill on the Surge. And that's sometimes why I think Mortis is actually pretty good into something like a Stew. Because you just can't kill it. And it got it bursts way faster than you can. But yeah, this the turn on the left side is just so strong on this map. It's really hard to do anything. I knew it. And uh, yeah, you just got to keep your range against Mortis. Got to get in range of the bow and the max. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of match dependent. We'll snipe him around the wall. Bow's gonna go for the trip. I'll juke that. Poor Penny does not see that. He's not actually gonna stay alive. And yeah, when you're laning this mortis, you want to like stay out of his long range. See, you baited him, and then you just easy two tap him. He can't really do too much. I did unfortunately die to the bow there, but it is what it is. I still got two turrets left as well. I'm not really gonna put it up because. I mean, I just want to win the game. I'm trying to be careful of this Mortis here. Oh my, his ping is so low. That is... Sometimes you just, you just can't do nothing. If he got the bats and he got the red Mortis, it's just... It's chalked. You can just uh, save goodbye to your life. You can hop into the next life. And uh, we'll get the kill on the max. We'll get the dub. That was happening last game. All right, we're putting the turret down. Helps your mid. Helps your lane. And uh, yeah, Surge is actually putting in a lot of work in this game. He is into a Mortis, but... In respects to him, okay... Never mind, they're both dead. That is not not very good. I'm also dead. All right. Well, this Surge is trying to get his level three. There's bow mines. Oh, he got trip wired. I thought, yeah, I was like, I thought he was going to hit those bow mines, but then he didn't. And then he just got exploded. Uh, the max is 200 HP. It's kind of tough to beat the max when you got the gadget, but I mean, as long as you waste out gadgets, everything about Stu is just baiting gadgets, to be honest. I don't think there's. Stu is like one of the best brawlers when there's no gadgets, but sometimes you just, there's just gadgets in the game. It's, it's unfortunate. When they run out of the gadgets, you just, you just bully them. Cause I mean, you got a super every single time and they don't, oh, that Mortis almost could have got me. We'll uh, stay around him. We'll glide around this boat. I think the best range around someone is like three to four tiles. Sometimes it depends on the brawler, sometimes two to three. If you just want to like kind of glide around them to where you can like auto aim, but you can also keep dashing around where they just can't hit you. I mean, this Max just wants to be right at my face. I will welcome that as well. Um, just trying to stay around. This bow is not happy with this Mortis. They are going to give up. And uh, yeah, it's going to be the win. And uh, yeah, Don't Be Salty was actually quite salty at the end. Fortunate for him. Yeah, if you enjoyed your select and subscribe, it was kind of tough to find really good games because sometimes the game just gives you bridge too far, shooting star, and you just can't do anything. Don't pick Stu. Don't do what I do. Look out for the next video, Road to Masters Only Stu. That's going to be a tough grind. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but eventually we will. But yeah, ask me for me. Peace out.